So one of the definite advantages of printing gyroid pattern, this is gyro pa pattern uh, only at 5%. You sort of see those wavy lines in there. Um, if you're talking about a flexible object like TPU material, what gyroid will give you is a very uniform, uh, you see that I'm pressing on it, it's giving you very uniform pressure. Now had I printed this with hexagon, um, with the same infill, it's, it's just going to sort of, you're going to see the actual hexagon marks. Let me see if I have one to show you. That's on TPU. Um, I don't have one exactly to show you right now. Um, but I do have one that I printed out for a back roller. And I can feel the hexagons, whereas this is very, very smooth. So that's where the advantage is. Now, hexagon is still, uh, honeycomb hexagon pattern is still gonna give you uh, better strength but if you're looking for an equilibrium force a uh, better pressure in all directions which is what I'm trying to achieve with this TPU material um, then you'll want to go with gyroid right gyroid is also faster it uses much less uh, material for the same amount of strength versus a honeycomb so it depends if, if you're building something for structural strength such as a 3d printer part uh, then I would go with uh, honeycomb. Now, if you're looking for um, like a soft, if you're looking to produce something like a soft material with TPU, um, so you can control the force, the uh, force of the the infill. For example, you can use less infill to make it more flexible. Um, you can use more infill to make it harder. All right, uh, but while making it equal equal pressure in all directions you'll want to use gyroid so that's the two biggest factors i've really um looking into and let's go ahead and take a look at some of these gyroids i'm printing out um this is a pretty big gyroid i'm printing out i've got uh i think this is around eight percent gyro eight percent infill a gyroid will also give you more uh more more points to the surface for example, if you did it with uh, honeycomb, you're gonna get much bigger holes. So you can you cover more of the, the the surface area with the gyro pattern. This is at I think almost like I think this is at 20%. I'm not sure, but this is another one I'm printing out. So gyro pattern can be um, useful. It, it looks really cool, and I'll, I'll have another video when I'm done. Again, what I found is that I was printing all these massaging tools out. I have so many of them. And I realized uh, I printed this one out. And even though really strong, when I press on it, it, it really just sort of, you can really press into the hexagon there, the honeycomb. Uh, whereas these, you don't. Even, even if it's bigger like that. So what I did was I printed out, the only way I could achieve um, equal pressure on the surface is printed out like that but then you end up using way more more much more material now if you want to achieve the same thing um, especially on TPU material because what I'm trying to do is get that nice you know almost like pillow like form there I actually printed out a pillow world's first 3d printed pillow this is with gyroid I have another one. Oh, here's a good example. So you can see the difference between gyroid. Look at how smooth that is. Same amount of infill, hexagonal. And you can see the hexagon lines come in here. All right. You don't get that. This, this really shows you that all directions. Now with the pillow, you're going to feel that those lines there. With gyroid, the greatest thing you don't feel it. You you don't feel anything. You, you feel very equal. So this is probably the future of um, pillows. <laughs> Two pillows I made. All right, pretty cool. Look how that recovers like memory foam. Whereas this is sort of rigid. So it's much stronger. Um, so gyroid can be very useful for flexible TPU materials or any kind of flex flexible. Um, or any kind of, you know, application when you need that, uh, you know, you, the truly all-directional force. Whereas the, 
the honeycomb is much much actually structurally stronger um so if something that doesn't have any kind of flex or requires flex i would actually use the honeycomb which i love to anyway have a great day guys